What's up guys, Nate here. Um, get the music a little bit quieter. Showing off another knife I just finished. Another uh, F1 uh, chef's knife here. This one's a little bit special. Uh, it's gonna be donated to a charity auction um, for the Waukesha Area Dental Clinic. Uh, they help underprivileged and uh, low income people get dental care that is sometimes really, really like horrendously needed. Um, some I've heard some pretty terrible horror stories about you know people who have to have all of their teeth completely pulled out and dentures because they you know did too much meth or whatever uh, in their life. So uh, figure my mom helps uh, run the or you know work with the the clinic. So I uh, wanted to donate a knife um, for the auction. So this is what I came up with. Uh, kind of went with like a wood sort of theme because I had this really really cool um, it's like spruce cone cast in resin um, like white resin and uh, so I had that I kind of went with the coke bottle shaped handle that I've been liking lately it's just kind of fun and it feels really great on a chef's knife like this um, took the butt off just to you know give it a nicer feel in the hand um, and it really does feel good, your fingers kind of drop in there. Or if you go with a pinch rip, like just your pinky drops into the little channel back there. Um, but finished it, uh, the spine and everything up to about a thousand. And buffed the handle. And so that kind of got all that nice and shiny too. I think it looks kind of nice. And then you can see the spine is carved up to kind of look like tree bark. Almost. And then I decided to do a bit of a fade down the sides of the blade. Um, flat ground, this is AEBL uh, stainless. Flat ground uh, down to about five thousandths before sharpening. So it's, I haven't tested it yet. So we will see if the sharpening gods are with me today. Looks like they are. Um, so yeah, really quite sharp. Um, and I think that carving looks kind of cool. Did it with just a, one of those little grinding wheels. It was hard to do lengthwise down the spine, but I think it looks good. Try to block a little bit of that glary light so you guys can see. I think it looks really nice. And then I went just a clean satin up there. Rounded the spine and choil. So it should be really comfortable. Should be a really great user. And uh, I made a little Kydex edge guard as always which fits right on there and then a little stand it was like a the top of a candle and I just cut a little channel in there and it kind of sits sits on that like that at sort of an angle um, for display because I think something like this someone would would want to display in their kitchen rather than just letting it sit uh, in a drawer or something um, this material is really interesting to work with. It sands like a dream, um, but it actually did break completely in half. Uh, one of the scales did, um, so I had to glue that back together, but uh, it's holding fine. Use that West Systems G-Flex, so it's never going anywhere. But uh, yeah, so there's that, guys. Thanks for looking. Um, be sure to like my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, I have lots of lots of crazy shit coming. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.